Combining school curriculum with community service. That's the goal of Ben D. Quinn Elementary's first ever Care for Cancer event. Now to your side, Sarah Graybar went out to the school to find out more about what these students are learning. It's about teaching students how to give back and honoring the legacy of one Ben D. Quinn Elementary School teacher. You never knew how sick she was. I mean, she was at school literally a week before she passed away. And so she's just amazing. And so we wanted to do this particular project in honor of her. It honors one Ben D. Quinn Elementary School teacher, Lynn Barnhill, who died of cancer a few years ago. She was amazing, amazing teacher. And she would leave here in the afternoons to go have chemo. And there were certain things she always needed with her. We came up with the idea of making these care packages for new cancer patients. It's a very scary time for them. And we just wanted to show them, you know, that there's somebody that's thinking about them and, you know, give them some things that, you know, they might not have thought that they needed. Things like blankets, chapstick, mints. After raising the funds for the packages, the fourth grade students had to put their math skills to the test. How many packages do we need to buy? How much is it going to cost us? And then add everything together. Fourth grade students gathered in the library Monday morning to put all their hard work together. Because we're making bags for people with cancer and um, we're like making bags so that they can feel better and be more confident. The bags will go to the Hope Foundation, who will distribute the packages to those undergoing cancer treatment. At the end of the day, it's not just a lesson about math. It's a life lesson about service. How important it is to give back to our community. You know, just little things um, can really make somebody's day. You never know what somebody else is going through. Teachers I spoke to say they hope students learn anyone can make a change in their community and hope to hold this event again in the future. In Newburn, Sarah Graybar, not on your side.